Okay, this is part three of the series of screencasts covering telescope. It's also the final screencast in this series. Okay, let me begin this screencast by mentioning the Hubble Space Telescope, which was launched in 1990 by getting above the Earth's atmosphere. This then gives you absolutely pristine views of the universe. The aperture or size of the primary mirror is 2.4 meters. Even though it is of modest size, the Hubble Space Telescope has completely revolutionized our understanding of the universe. The Hubble Space Telescope is still in use now, 30 years after its launch. However, basically, we will no longer be able to use the telescope pretty soon as its various, its various instruments begin to fail. There are currently no plans to refurbish the telescope. At that point, it will basically be retired. Okay, the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope has been built. It's called the James Webb Space Telescope. It has a 6.5 meter primary mirror. It's actually going to operate mostly in infrared wavelengths as opposed to optical wavelengths. It is scheduled to be launched in March of 2021. A true optical successor, however, to the Hubble Space Telescope has been designed. It's called the High Definition Space Telescope. The primary mirror of that telescope depicted here is 11.7 meters. For comparison, right here is the James Webb Space Telescope to be launched in 2021. And for comparison, over here is the primary mirror of the Hubble Space Telescope. So this will be a true successor to Hubble. We hope to have it built and perhaps launched by maybe 2030. Okay, now the next generation of large telescopes, the construction of those telescopes, well, the construction has begun. This right here is an artist's rendition of what is called the Giant Magellan Telescope. It's going to consist here of seven 8.4 meter mirrors combined together to form a single mirror. This is the University of Arizona's next big project. It is currently being built. It's being built in Chile, and it should be completed by the middle of this decade. Okay, this is the next major observatory or telescope to be built at the top of Mauna Kea. This is the 30-meter telescope at the TMT. It's going to be operated by the University of California and by Caltech. Construction has started at the summit of Mauna Kea, but it's actually currently on hold due to an ongoing legal battle regarding the status of the summit of the mountain. The summit of the mountain is held as a sacred site by Native Hawaiians, and some factions of Native Hawaiians, for political reasons, have, con have currently blocked the construction of this telescope. Construction does is rather scheduled to resume, however, from what I understand very soon. However, if the ongoing legal, legal battles regarding the summit of Mauna Kea continue, an alternate site in the Canary Islands in the eastern Atlantic Ocean has been chosen. Regardless, however, we hope to have this completed by the early 2020s, sometime in the next few years. Yeah, this right here is an artist's rendition of the TMT, the 30-meter telescope, to give you an idea as to how big it is. Okay, the Europeans have started construction on their own big telescope. This is going to be housed in the Atacama Desert in Chile. Construction has already started. It's going to be bigger than the TMT. It's going to have a 39-meter primary mirror. Okay, and then this right here is an engineering proposal. This is just a design right now. We're not quite sure, quite frankly, if we're ever going to build one of these. This is referred to as the OWL. The OWL stands for the Overwhelmingly Large Telescope. It will have a primary mirror that's going to be 100 meters wide. We might be able to build one of these things by 2050. Maybe we could actually build something like this, perhaps on the far side of the moon, which would be an absolutely ideal place to do astronomy with an extremely large telescope in a relatively weak gravity field. Okay, so that concludes then this series of screencasts covering telescopes.